In this analysis, we're going to look at our company and compare it with its main competitor and the S&P 500 so we can see which is the best investment for you. Let's look at growth. Which stock has the highest projected earnings growth for the next five years? On the right, you see a point system in order to easily reference how each has done. For the S&P 500, I'm taking the average of its 10 largest components. We treat any not applicable numbers as the worst possible outcome. Let's look at P-E ratio. Which stock has the least amount of speculation with a lower P-E ratio? Speculation naturally overvalues a company as it's an easy way to measure hype with a high price to earnings. The further to the left you see the graph, the less hyped the stock. Let's look at the 200-day moving average. Which stock is trading lower than its 200-day the most? The further negative the stock's price is trading compared to its 200-day, the more of a bargain we have. Let's look at returns, specifically ROA, ROE, and ROI. Which stock is using its assets, cash, and investments most efficiently? We combine all three returns so we can easily determine the most efficient stock. Let's look at dividends. Which stock pays you the most to hold their shares? It's important to note that a real long-term investment means getting paid to own instead of just selling the stock for a profit. Let's look at short float. Which stock are investors and traders most bearish with? A high short float is an indication that others have a negative near-term outlook on the business. Let's look at profit margins. Which stock generates the most profit from its business? This metric tells us the company has a business that can generate a lot of cash, which can be reinvested or paid out to shareholders. Let's look at analyst recommendations. Which stock do Wall Street analysts favor the most? Graded 1 to 5. This is the average analyst grade given to a stock. A 1 means a strong buy and a 5 means a strong sell. Now that we've got all the business metrics analyzed, we put their point totals on this grid and add them all up. The stock with the highest point total is considered the stock with the best business. As a comparison, I put the most importance on our company versus the S&P 500. If we have a higher score than the market, it has a better business than its 500 combined companies. Before we get to that price, join my Patreon. You'll get access to every company I've analyzed so you can compare between each. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. So how undervalued is the stock? What you see is the current stock price of our company and its fair price. What you want is the current price to be less than the fair price. This is easily noted with a positive or negative percentage number. The higher the percentage, the more of a bargain the stock is. Lastly, I wanted to include our company's stock performance over its 1, 3, 5, and 10 years compared with its industry and the S&P 500. This isn't included as part of my analysis, but sometimes investors look at the business and the price, while others just want to know if they're getting a return that's good enough. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.